Well, this video here is going to show you how to log into the Instructure website. What you would do, if you don't already see this on your screen, is type in byuh.instructure.com, and that will bring up this login screen. You can see the address changes to the login. Uh, I would put in my email address, whatever the one is that you are using for your courses. That's the one you put in. Put in your own password, and click in. Log in. And depending on how many courses you have in the structure, when you click on courses here, you may see uh, multiple, you may only see this one. Uh, those of you taking this course online, you'll see this 201 videos for non-resident students, and you also see this one. Those who are taking it live, you don't have the videos for online because you can have a DVD that has those. Uh, so let's assume that we all just choose the uh, 201 course, not the videos, but the actual course itself. And this is the course when it opens up. Now it's going to look a little bit different for you because um, I'm coming in as a teacher rather than as a student. But the basic idea is this. When you log in, you'll see the course name here. And uh, if you need help with the technical side of this course, you can email this BOH Online Support. That, that they're the people who are helping support this course here at BYU Hawaii. If the website itself, Instructure Canvas, is down or not working or some bug exists, you would use this feedback button. Um, but as you can see, I've tried to organize this in a way that kind of talks you through the different hours. Now, since uh, you may be taking this in a term or in a semester, I've organized everything by hours. So in the term, you may actually have two hours on the same day, whereas in a semester, you only have one hour on that day. I've tried to give you an estimated time to complete. So this particular module, it's kind of a long module, I admit, is about three hours and four minutes. It's going to be due on July 22nd. And all you're going to do is you, uh, when you open this up, probably this first one is the only one that you'll be able to click. These will be grayed out. You probably couldn't click on them and activate them even if you wanted to because the way I've set the, up this course is you've got to click on this first. So I know that you've seen that before you go on to the next one, go on to the next one. So let's imagine you click on this first one. And what this does, it's a welcome. So you're going to see that I've created a video. And you click on that video. And in this video, I talk you through, you know, just welcome to the course. And Aloha. My name is Kim. Okay, so you get the idea. And then down below, I have a short video from BYU Provo. And after you've done that, then this particular assignment or this particular phase of the uh, welcome module is done and you may see a check mark or something but um, it's done and then this will become activated so you can click on it and once you've done this and this is just to read a little bit about the course how you can get help so if you're saying hey gosh I'm confused how do I get help come here you can get it from me you can get it from the tutors you can get it from the online department you, you know there's a number of places you can get help but you go ahead and you read that after you've read that then this next one becomes activated and that's how this thing works now the one that you're working on right now obviously since you've already made some progress uh, up to this point is um, this one here. It's prepared to take quizzes. So there's some videos here that you're watching, and obviously you're already you've already read a few. Uh, but you watch the videos, and at the end, then you're going to take the quiz. And uh, down the bottom, you'll see something that says "Take the quiz." When you take the quiz, some questions will appear, and you just click on what you believe the right answer to be. And at the bottom of the quiz, it'll say "Submit." Once you submit, those will be your answers and you'll get scored on that. Um, do not click on take the quiz until you are absolutely ready to take the quiz. Because if you click on take the quiz, it's a one shot. Um, actually, I think I've set this up to be unlimited attempts. So, you know, in this case, um, you can keep taking it until you've learned what I want you to learn. So, in this case, um, I guess it's not that critical. But the main thing I want you to do is I want you to learn how to use the website and that you're successful. So that's kind of how um, uh, this particular phase of the um, course works. And I'm going to stop this video and post it for you.